I'm Anna, and this is Ignacio. We, along with our daughter Elena and our pup Bay, are the new salt selling crew. We are DIYers with a growing appetite for big adventure. Our goal is to DIY and trade our way up to a blue water worthy boat and set sail on an adventure by sea. We are new to selling and plan to develop our selling skills along the way. Subscribe to stay up to date with our progress and adventures. All right, so here we are on the transom of the Venture 21. So uh, we're talking about fabricating a stiffener for the transom. So the reason I want to do that is because if you may not be able to tell in video, but there's about a half inch of deflection either way on this upper uh, rudder mount. The, the bottom seems to be okay because it is right here on this edge, which gives it a lot of rigidity, but there is no rigidity up here. The whole transom kind of flexes a little bit. Uh, it's just these boats are constructed with a very thin layer of, uh, of fiberglass on the transom. So they're, uh, it's not that there's delamination or anything like that. It's just by design that they're very thin. And I think originally it may have been okay, but over the years it's, uh, you know, with all the the use of the boat, the, the fibers have deteriorated a little bit and allowing it to flex. So what we're gonna do is on the inside, I'm gonna lay, um, some PVA down, let that set up, which is polyvinyl alcohol. It's just a, a separating agent that's used for uh, for molds or fiberglass molds. Um, we'll also put some tape on either side of the PVA, and then using epoxy, some of that uh, thickening agent, and the the one inch strip. We'll lay up a one inch strip going from probably about here. It just depends on how, how accessible the area is, but going from here all the way to the motor bracket, which the internal motor bracket comes about six inches on either side of this, so so it'll be at about here. So anyway, I'll do that to make a template. Uh, once that sets up and cures, we'll take it out of the boat, and on the bench we'll fabricate the actual stiffener, uh, which will end up being basically a piece of angle, but uh, it needs to follow the curvature of the transom, so I can't just use some, some angle that I have laying around. Um, without a lot of major work, and I'd rather just fabricate one myself, it'd be uh, more fit for purpose. So once all that's constructed, then we'll glue it to the transom using some epoxy resin. Um, once it's set up, the, the transom should be much, much stiffer. Uh, we shouldn't have any of this deflection that we're seeing here, which uh, is worrisome because under you know hard sailing, the, the transom may flex enough where, where it could actually cause some, some cracking and, and a lot of water into the hole. So. I want to try to avoid that as much as possible. So, anyway, we'll uh, we'll get started and uh, see what we can get knocked out. All right, so we're here in the venture. Um, we we're cleaned out the uh, the bilge and the rear cabin area. So, um, after looking closer at it, I don't think that PVA will be such a good idea because it's still kind of coarse from uh, the fiberglass. It wasn't a finished area, so you know. The, you can see the uh, the woven roving they use to kind of print through so if I lay epoxy on that it's just going to stick to it I'm not going to get it off so um, I've got this uh, this really wide uh, 3M masking tape so put a few layers of that down and uh, hope it doesn't soak through and we'll use that as our base so I'm going to see if I can tuck the camera back in the uh, in the cabin area so you can see what I'm doing to a time when I used epoxy on masking tape and didn't go so well so as uncomfortable as it is to get down to this area I decided I'm gonna try to lay a sheet of parchment paper down and uh, and then do my layup on top of that in hopes that the uh, you know the epoxy doesn't soak through the parchment paper and then also uh, I can just pop it off of the parchment paper so I got a uh, a sheet of parchment paper in here up against the transom is taped in which being non-stick the tape is doing an okay job but anyway I also put this 2x6 here 
so that we can build a little kind of trough with the uh, the parchment paper. What that'll uh, what that'll do is I'll, I'll stuff some shop rags down there just so any any epoxy that leaks doesn't get all over the bottom, which uh, require a lot of sanding to get removed later. Uh, and just try to keep it clean work area. So anyway, I need to uh, put a little piece of tape on here to hold this up, fill that with rags, and then uh, we'll start the layup. All right, so we've laid our uh, our shop rags down here, and we're gonna do our layup up there. So I'm gonna stick y'all back here so you can see what's going on. Before getting started, I need to cut my fiberglass. For this layup, I'm using five layers total, three layers of chop strain, and two layers of woven roving. I will alternate these layers, chop strand, woven roving, chop strand, woven roving, chop strand. I begin applying my layup to the parchment paper. Because it is a vertical surface, I mix my epoxy one to one with Cavasil thickener to keep it from sliding. It's important to work slowly to ensure that you fully wet out the fiberglass when working with thickened epoxy. Okay, so the stiffener that we had made for the transom of the Venture 21 is, uh, is now cured. And uh, as you can see, it does have the correct shape. I'm going to come through and trim this square. And then I will stand it up on a piece of parchment paper and do our bottom layup, tying it into this. And then uh, let that cure overnight. And then tomorrow we'll come in and actually install that onto the transom. All right, so we got the stiffener trimmed. Uh, I'm gonna lay down my parchment paper. Cut it, well, first I'll cut up my layup, set down the parchment paper, then I'll uh, I'll build my layup, and then I'll set this on top of it, and I'll lay a couple layers joining the two, and then a couple of those one-inch strips across. So I'm gonna add probably three layers to this thickness, and then I'm gonna build um eight layers because this, this is already five eight layers on the bottom so five then i'll install this and then i'll do three combined and then we'll do some uh some work right here in, in the in the joint so anyway turned out pretty good we'll uh i'm going to test this, this in the boat one more time just to make sure everything's fitting like i like it and then we'll uh, start to lay it all right we got all our material cut out ready to be laid up um i grabbed a couple boards so that I can support uh, this piece once uh, once I get this lay up I'm gonna set this piece on top and I need something just to support it to make sure it doesn't move so I'm gonna put some boards and I'll just run a couple pieces of tape around it and uh, that should hold it. Our first step after mixing the epoxy is to wet out the work surface. This is to ensure that the back side of the first layer is fully wet out. I'd originally intended to lay five layers down on the work surface and then install the stiffener back. Instead, I decided to lay two layers down and begin alternating my layers to ensure that I have a more stiff finished product that's better tied together. It is important to utilize a fin roller between layers to ensure that there's no trapped air. Trapped air will weaken your final product. So the part's laid up. Uh, now we just need to give it overnight and uh, we'll check it out tomorrow afternoon. See what it looks like. So yeah, I think it'll work fine. Uh, we'll let it cure and then we'll come and, and trim it up, make it all pretty. and. 
see how it fits. It sh should be more than strong enough for what we're trying to do. So, right, we'll check back in the morning. Okay, so this is our stiffener we laid up yesterday. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up, obviously, but as you can see, it's, uh, and I can't deflect the thing at all in, in the direction I'm trying to stiffen, and really any direction for that matter. So, anyway, I'm going to go around and uh, trim this thing up, clean it up nice. Uh, I'm going to rough this backside and then epoxy it in. Let it sit overnight and uh, be ready tomorrow morning. With the excess fiberglass trimmed off of the stiffener, you can really see the curvature that I was trying to match. This had been very difficult to match without using the transom as a template for the back. Here's the stiffener installed. Unfortunately, I've lost the footage of me installing the stiffener. To install the stiffener, all I did was apply 5200 to the back side of the stiffener, press it in place, put it exactly where I wanted it, and then taped it off let it cure for 24 hours. Next week's video will include the 4.5 horsepower Evinrude engine and lower unit repairs that were required to get our outboard running for the boat's first sail. If you enjoy our videos, please like, subscribe, and share them with your friends.